Hey guys, so today I'm going to talk about am I going to buy the 30th anniversary, the $1,100 as Alpha Investment would say, pack of proxies. Now, first of all, I'll go over the list of things um, I probably will go over in live stream as well. Do I believe they are proxies? Yes. Do I believe they are worth that amount of money? No. Um, do I believe they could be resold, sealed? for a higher amount, yes. Uh, Alpha Investment himself has admitted that he believes that these will sell on the secondary market on eBay for up to $2,000, but probably a minimal of 1,500. This is his own words in his own video. Therefore, if you have a product and let's call it, I mean, let's kind of draw the line in the sand where it is. This is a product where many people fear that if it sells out, Wizard of the Coast will continue its barrage of very expensive products. And obviously the next product that's gonna come out in this line will be a reserve list card with the correct back. Is that really that bad for us? I don't know. So I cannot tell you what that outcome would be. I know a lot of people with big collections, even smaller collections than mine, they're very afraid of this outcome. I'm not afraid of it. Um, I basically magic is what it is. You know, I will enjoy it for what it is in a game. Now, what people are afraid on addition to it being reprinted and destroying the collection value is the fact that, hey, they're gonna charge very close to secondary market prices on them. They understand that if they can get away with a thousand dollars a pack, why not 2000? Why not 3000? Why not more? And the answer is, yeah, it does make logical sense, right? <laughs> if they can sell this thing out for a thousand, so they, they went from you know, regular pack for $4, they went to a set pack for like $6 or $7, then they went to a collector pack for uh, $34, 35 in Target. Uh, then they went to a VIP double master pack for I think $109. Uh, and now they're at this type of uh, pack for 250. So the pack is not itself $1,000, it's $250 which is slightly more, I mean, not slightly, two and a half times more than a VIP double master set, which no one had issues with at the time. No one, you know, and they say, oh, that's not a proxy. You can, you can be very minute, but these, as a lawyer myself, these are very, very stupid details that you're mentioning. Um, these are, in my opinion, uh, in legal terms, moot. It's moot. Because what you're really talking about is what you really want to hamper up about is you're worried about the next pack price being even higher. So is it a pack of proxies? Is it a pack? Of, it, it doesn't matter. Um, whatever the next pack will be, I'm sure that it will not be a pack of proxies, given back the feedback they received and how negative the proxy feedback was and how they're shutting down proxies, right? Websites as we speak. Um, what I am almost certain will happen is that a lot of people will buy these packs. And I can almost certainly guarantee you that not enough people will hold a line to make a difference. So I don't know how many packs they made, but I am almost, I'm almost gonna guarantee you they will sell enough of those packs. Maybe not sell out. I mean, it kind of depends on how much they made, right? Like we don't, nobody knows what the print run is. The print run could be super tiny and they sell out like, they, they, it could be very big. And they just hold some, or maybe it's a double thing where they put out only a few for the internet and then they give away some for promotion. I could see that happening. No one really knows if it's gonna sell out because no one knows the print run. If you told me the print run, I can tell you yes or no if it's gonna sell out today. But until like we understand what the print run is, there's just no way for anyone to make that announcement that it's going to sell out. Now, I do think it's going to sell very well. And this is kind of, the, you know, the concern, right? Here, according to Alpha Investment, this product will likely double in price uh, and he's telling us not to buy it. There are very few products in Magic the Gathering that you can buy with almost as much certainty as this product and sell on eBay for more money. Uh, Uninfinity was not one of those products. Brothers War was not one of the products. The margins on these products are very low. They're definitely not anything close to a thousand percent, or not thousand, sorry, a hundred percent. Which supposedly everyone's thinking that this product will double in price. 
I don't know if that's true or not, but no one thought Brothers War would double price. If you went to people say, hey, how much money do you think your Brothers War will go up? This collector's edition or this booster box. And you'd probably be like, oh, hopefully 20%. Maybe I can make 20% margins if I'm lucky. So we have a limited product uh, that is going to sell out or going to sell a lot of and whatever they don't sell out, I'm sure just like Rudy, they can burn them. You know, it's not like, it's like kind of like the Rudy promo, right? If he doesn't sell it, he'll burn it in front of you. And then everyone will clap and say how uh, generous of a person Wizard of Coast is. I think, um, I would love for like other store owners to make videos about it to say, hey, I'm not gonna buy it, but I hate that Rudy is the one who is ha who's doing it. Uh, I just watched a video of the 6.9 thing uh, somebody did, and then he got like a redemption for five Rudy playmats. That was like his big hit. I, I just don't love it because um, a lot of the tactics Wizard of Coast is using, they learn from Rudy. Right, the limited availability, let's set the cards on fire, the repacks. Um, I mean, 6.9 anniversary was a repack. I don't know how many people actually openly discuss it as such, but it is a repack. And uh, I, I, I watched that video from that guy and he made a funny intro and he obviously plays Magic, he bought like a Walmart box. So he has other videos. It's not like this is the only product he bought and made a video about, uh, and his special hit was five Rudy playmats, and then he assigned it a value of like $80, $90, and I was like, no, he's not gonna, he's not gonna be able to sell any of them for any amount of money, because no one needs another Rudy playmat, and then you got a Rudy promo for $50, it was a savage, and I just can't think about it, it's like, we gotta treat ourselves better than this, as a community. If we say repacks are bad, then nobody should be doing a repack. If we say that this product is bad, no one should buy it. Do I have doubts if Alpha Investment buys this product? Yeah, absolutely. He said secret layers are bad and he's got a whole bunch in his warehouse that he got for discount. It doesn't matter how you acquire them. In fact, I would say, you know, buying them for a discount is even a better way to acquire more. If you really wanted the maximum amount, then you would, yeah, you would buy them on sale. So, um, I wish more local game stores would speak up. Maybe Card Kingdom would say, no, we're not gonna buy any, or uh, Star City Games say, no, we're not gonna carry this. Uh, but they're not, Cool Stuff Inc. All the people I use their buy lists, they have not come out, like Rudy has come out with anger towards this product, which I think they're just gonna buy the product and resell it. Um, and if those people, like you know, the volume like Card Kingdom can do outweighs anything that I, Rudy, any anybody on any YouTuber can do. They can buy in the millions if they want to. If they think it's a good product and they want to break some and carry some and put them in their online store, they can buy far more product than I can buy, or even ten of me can buy because they're uh, actual games. So I'm not super worried about Rudy and so on because I don't think the line in the sand is for individual buyers like myself and Rudy. I think it's for the stores. Like Dave and Adams, for instance, how many are they gonna buy to open on their box opening channel? Right, their box opening 24 seven. Steel Break City, like they, you have to understand there are so many huge companies, even Backyard Breaks. You no, know, Backyard Breaks has a Pokemon channel now. Well, I mean, wouldn't they be interested in this product? I think they would. I think they would buy some too to break. Uh, they break Star Wars now, so I mean, they're kind of you know get getting into different categories. I just don't think um, Rudy's the right person to say don't buy this. Let's all kind of rally behind Rudy, right? Who recently sold a repack after saying repacks are bad, and everyone knows repacks is bad. I know it. Um. I think the right person to rally behind would be Card Kingdom. If Card Kingdom came out with an announcement, we don't agree with these policies or um, you know, Star City Games or one of the big vendors, there's a chance. There's a chance. Because if Rudy says, oh, everyone, all, all, let's say all the Timmy's don't buy it. Card Kingdom can buy out everything. In a blink, do do, okay, done. What Card Kingdom is probably planning on buying is more than every 
Rudy Patreon combined because they're an actual store that can sell product. If they believe they can sell this product, they will buy it. If Backyard Breaks believes they can sell the product for a premium and you know break it, they will buy it. If Dave and Adams believe they can break it, they will buy it. If uh, Star City Games, if TCG Player believes they can break it and sell these singles, they will buy it. If eBay, you know, eBay is a big player because they now own TCG Player, which now owns uh, Channel Fireball. So the eBay ecosystem, if they believe that this thing is going to sell well, they will go ahead and buy it. If people believe that they should get their cards graded, they will go ahead and buy it. Like, there are so many huge entities. Like, I'm not talking about individual Rudy Chans or Lion Chans, right? I'm talking about entities like real businesses with millions of dollars of uh, cash on hand to buy such a product. So it's cute that Rudy drew the little line in the sand is getting mad. But Card Kingdom says, nah, man, I don't care. It doesn't take that many Card Kingdoms to make this product successful, if you understand, right? <laughs> there are far bigger whales than Rudy in the ocean in terms of buying product. And like I said, it would be, uh, in my opinion, I would follow the lead of a card kingdom. I'm not going to follow Rudy's lead because of the repack situation, because of his promo situation, because of the first edition monarch situation. And there's so many other situations I look at and I say, you know, I, I cannot afford to not buy it if this guy's telling me not to buy it, but the secret layer situation and he's going to buy it, I'm going to be left in the dust, right? And then he's opening the packs, like, like Rudy says, he's going to get millions of views and he's going to make tons of, he's going to double his money, get millions of views. And so I'm, I, I'm, I'm listening to him talk about the benefits of this product and I'm like, oh yeah, <laughs> I could see those benefits helping me. But Card Kingdom told me, hey, and I, again, I trust Card Kingdom's buy list above all else, which may be, may be a gross false the because I lost money, but I trust them. If they said, a Card Kingdom said, we don't agree with this, this is destructive for our player base, we're not going to buy it, we're not going to carry it, we're not going to put it in an on online store, yeah, I, I won't buy it. If Alpha Investment says that, and in the past he said not to buy secret layers, oh, but he's giving away secret layers, and his pile of secret layers, he said repacks were bad, but then he did his own repack which was very bad as I can show you multiple videos of people opening it and getting, I mean, their redemption was literally five play mats. Why would they want that, Rudy? Like, and then, then, then their second, third level was like five free booster packs, each of them being worth like $2. Or I think it was like a Throne of Eldoran booster pack. Set, not even collector. 